Welcome to the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent, and if you are a subscriber, I greatly appreciate your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey, please consider hitting that subscribe button with a notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. All right, guys, today we have the David Nicholson Reserve Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. I'll tell you a little bit about David Nicholson. David Nicholson was a St. Louis grocer who sold bourbon out of his store where he created what has been come to known as the 43rd bourbon recipe. Many years down the road, a man that was part of the W.L. Willer team by the name of Julian Van Winkle, otherwise known as Pappy Van Winkle, gets involved with the Nicholson brand by distilling and bottling the original 43rd recipe at the Stitzel Willer Distillery. The Nicholson brand remained in the, in the Van Winkle family until around 2000 when Lesco purchased the brand. All right, guys, in saying all of that, this is not the 43rd recipe that we're reviewing today. The David Nicholson 1843 Weeded Bourbon is what is pertaining to the backstory of, of, of the David Nicholson story. This here is a new addition to complement the 1843. This is the David Nicholson Reserve. It is a Lexco product. It's a source whiskey. It's thought to be sourced from Heaven Hill. The mash bill on this is undisclosed. It does say that it is a high rye mash bill. Um, it's a non-age stated whiskey, and the MSRP on this is around thirty to forty dollars. I think I picked this one up for around thirty bucks. All right, let's check out the bottle. The bottle. I think they were trying to go fancy on this one, guys. Um, the cork, synthetic cork. Synthetic cork, it does say David Nicholson on the inside of the cork. Kind of sleek bottling, got a nice neck, nice neck on it. It says David Nicholson right here on the bottle. And the, and the lettering on this bottle, pretty fancy. A pretty fancy lettering. It's got David Nicholson written in fancy cursive, got black and gold. I think they were trying to go for the fancy look on this bottle. Definitely one I wouldn't be ashamed of to have on my bar shelf. All right, on the color. The color on this whiskey, it's, it's copper, guys. It's, it's, a, it's a nice copper color. See how it's coating the glass? Check out the viscosity on this whiskey. It seems to be coating the glass. It seems to be coating the glass very... Pretty well, guys. It's 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 nice, viscous. Got nice, thick thick legs on it. Has a nice copper color. Pretty viscous, nice copper color. Maybe a deep a deep amber. Looks to have a nice viscosity and nice color on the whiskey. Let's get into the nose. Thought let's get into the nose. All right, right away on the nose, you're getting caramels, a pecan and a toffee note. Definitely has a nuttiness to it. Vanillas and baking spices. And a very nice oak note. Once again on the nose, the, the oak is very, it's very present in the nuttiness, the, the pecan nuttiness to, this, to the nose of this whiskey. And the, it seems like the caramel, the more I keep going back to it, the caramel vanilla is underlaying the oak and the pecan note on the nose of this whiskey. It's in there, but it's lying underneath it. Once again, we got caramels, pecans, a little bit of toffee, vanilla, a nice, a very, very nice rich oak note, and some baking spices on the nose of this whiskey. Let's get into the taste. All right, on the taste. Cheers. All right, guys, on the front of the palate, you're, you're picking up the sweetness, the caramels, the vanillas, and a little bit of, a, a little bit of honey. Mid-palate, 
totally transitions over to a nice oak nutty note that kind of lingers on the finish. And I'm gonna say the the finish on this whiskey is leaning towards the long side of things. It's still going. The aftertaste on the first sip is pecans and oak. A nice nutty, nutty note in oak. Let's go back and have another sip. Cheers. Once again, very consistent. Sweetness up front, caramel, vanilla, honey. Mid palate, it goes into an oak, pecan, toppy note, and some baking spices that kind of just lingers on to the finish. But it seems like the sweetness of the of the vanilla, is especially, is getting drugged through all the way through. To the mid palate into the finish. So on the finish you're getting a nice oaky pecan vanilla note which is quite pleasant. Very nice second sip. Let's go in for a third. Cheers. Once again, very consistent whiskey, sweetness up front. I will say this, the more I keep sipping, the drier it gets. First sip, very creamy. Third sip, sip kind of drying out a little bit, um, but still very consistent as far as the flavors go. Um, you got caramel, vanilla up front, and it's going into a nice woody, oaky note and toffee. And the vanilla is getting drugged through all of that. And some baking spices lingering on to the finish. And the finish is quite, quite long. Um, it does linger and hang around. What, the, what you're getting in the aftertaste or lingering around the finish is a nice vanilla, oaky, toffee note. Darn guys, it's gonna wrap this one up. My final thoughts on the David Nicholson Reserve Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. I think it's a solid sipper. It is a solid sipper at a great value. It delivers a very, very nice oak note with a nuttiness that is complimented. It makes it a well-rounded whiskey with vanillas, caramels, and a nice toffee note. At $30, I don't think anyone would be disappointed with this whiskey right here. That's gonna wrap this one up. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys, cheers.